Good evening and welcome to Realty, Realty Coffee Talk and Awards Entertainment in Canada around the world. My name is Tahir Aikrashi. I'm your host. Before we begin our program, for our viewers, for Muslim in Canada around the world, happy Ram Ramadan. This is a blessed month in which Holy Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and was completed. All Muslims are fasting during the day, and I request all employers to be patient with the employees because they will be fasting all day long and they will be breaking their fast in the evening and praying in the evening. So on behalf of Waz Entertainment, and we wish everyone a blessed month of Ramadan. Tonight's topic is the virtual transformation of real estate business. Because since COVID came, it has totally changed how we conduct our business. And sometime, especially in, in the province of Ontario, we have a lockdown and potential for this lockdown to continue for a while. We have to adopt new methods of marketing and selling viewing the property, uh, doing completed transactions. So we're going to talk about various topics that uh, comes to us. As a real estate professional, you are no longer able to go out and distribute your flyers because people don't want you to come to your door, knocking on the door to, to distribute your flyers. So the best thing for you is to create your uh, advertising material and submit through Canada Post. That's the only way you can able to, to submit your, uh, you know, advertising material uh, to uh, potential audience. So that means you are forming a specific area and then you are able to go and send them to Canada Post because they are checking to make sure the distribution of your flyer is done properly. This is one of the one we normally do because we used to do open houses. People used to come to us. We cannot do that anymore. We are doing virtual uh, open houses. Because of lack of inventory, houses are flying through the window. They are coming and going very hard sales. You have seen the report I have provided you for the month of March. It price has gone way up, 21.5% increase in detached homes in 416 and 905 area. So there is no shortage of sales. There's tremendous sale happened in March, last March to this March is almost over 90% increase in sale. So how do you do that? Digital marketing. So as a real test professional, what you have to do, you have to learn the new skills. You have to create a network you will have a local network with the, in the neighborhood, in the community, in your city, in a overall GTA, or province-wise, or Canada-wise, because not only you are selling a product in, in your jurisdiction, we are ignoring, or most of the time, we are not networking with our fellow realtors, because when you are cooperating with a person. For example, you have a deal in Windsor. If you live in Mississauga or Toronto area, how are you going to sell that house and list the property in Windsor? Why don't you make a referral to a realtor in that area and network? And this is why on Facebook, I have created Ontario Real Estate Professional Network where everybody is listing their property. They're cooperating with each other. Idea again is to get a piece of the pie. But if you network, you are able to use the strength and energy and jurisdiction of that person who is cooperating with you. I'm a fellow Real Estate Institute of Canada, and I have created a, a conference, a monthly network conference for FRIs. So that means we are meeting across Canada FRIs so we can refer business to each other, get to know each other, build partnership, and you are doing more business. Similarly, I'm a CIPS, Certified International Property Specialist, and I am doing a, a, a conference, connectivity conference for CIPS. Last, we have done two conferences, and we have almost 
two countries are represented in conference. So my third conference is on uh, on April 7. I'm a CIPS, so I'm dealing with CIPS around the world. People are coming from other countries to Canada, so they refer to me. I take care of the business because they're coming to my jurisdiction. Or one, I have a client who is traveling overseas, United States, going to California or Orlando or Miami or Germany, France, London, Dubai. I can make a referral to my network in CIPS in the world. So this is how you create that, that uh, connectivity. That is why. Are you doing your social network? How you are promoting yourself? It's you who's going to connect. So you have to create that network connectivity. So you can watch this Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment where we are promoting. Also, every work that you have to be doing before has been changed now. It has to be virtual. You get leads from plumbers, electricians, or renovators, or home builders, or uh, developers. That is limited now to virtual communication by Zoom. But you need to connect with them. You may be using more Zoom or your phone than physically going there. And this is why it's very important not only to generate more revenue. Now you have a lot of buyer. Buyer have access to realtor.ca. They know well informed about it. So MLS has become more important tools for everyone. I am a director of Misaga Real Estate Board. We have our own ITSO um, MLS system, which has a 22 boards. So we are connected. I'm also a member of Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. So I have a, a, a TREB MLS system. So idea is to reach out because our client expect us to do more. And especially now, sellers had to cooperate with, with, with buyers because of potential for this, uh, uh, you know, uh, getting infected by coronavirus. It's a dangerous thing. The enemy is in the air. We can't tell when and how we can get this, this, this problem. And we have to make sure that we get our vaccine, vaccine, uh, vaccine as early as possible. I got mine. I feel comfortable, but I'm still taking precautions. I'm using, uh, um, you know, sanitizer and also mask and, and also wearing gloves sometime. And come out, uh, when you come home, you clean yourself and make sure that everything is uh, clean. And sometimes you change your clothes. So these are the important thing is, so we have in our, us, especially for realtors, we have to sell houses. And as you know, the selling is going on uh, very rapidly and, and we have multiple offers because the inventory is short. There are lots of people who are going to be reached out. So you have to reach out to get them, get your listing because right now, seller, listing agent are getting sometimes multiple representation and other business. So important for you to reach out. How can you reach out? It depends what you're doing it. So you have to reach out to your local community. Uh, you're doing business with the community. You're volunteering. People will ask you to help them. So you go to uh, your Canada Post for distribution or you can hire someone because they're not allowing people to go door to door. It's been prohibited now. So best thing is to use Canada Post. And then you do digital marketing. Use your shows. You go to produce a digital document. There are so many resources available to you to transform because you need to have a good computer and then good software. You have a Zoom. You have a Microsoft Team. And go to meeting. Many platforms available now. You need that. And also to make sure this is a safe. What you're doing is because you are using a platform is protecting the data. It's very important. And you understand the process because you need to reach out to people. People are the ones who are buying and selling real estate. It's very, very important for you to reach out to them. 
So once you have reached out, people have started calling you, you are communicating with them. You're going to convert that lead into a transaction, whether it's a listing or buy it. You know the process. You go them, you get collect the information, call them, set up a time, Zoom, and then invite them and, and connect with them, explain the process. Because we are now 3D floors, we are entering for our listing so people can do it. If I was you, I would tell people not to come to my house and just create maximum exposure through digital technology. You create a virtual tour and give them tour. Let them put a condition that to buy a house subject to home inspection. Okay. That way, people can buy the house. You, you have shown exactly what is your house look like. Very nice 3D, very nice uh, virtual tours and floor plans and dimensions. If there are any uh, difficulties, uh, sorry, uh, discrepancies in the house, if the windows are leaking, we expect sellers to disclose that. If there's some problem with the furnace, please disclose that. Is there any leakage on the, on the roof? Please disclose that. These are the important thing. If there is a problem of flooding in the basement, please disclose that. Because if you have people coming to your house and you have to stay away from it, you have to sanitize the house each time somebody get, uh, come to your house, even though we are taking precautions and, and, and make sure that nobody gets sick and, and goes and, and, and follow uh, proper Health Canada guidelines and our brokerage guidelines. But something can happen. So idea is to allow the buyer to put a condition. And therefore, there will be only one person will come to your house that already bought is a conditional. He has the financing and he, he, and he or she can go and feel themselves comfortable. Once they agree and accept it, then you go ahead and, and, and close the deal. Because when you have too many people going through the system, as you can see it on, uh, on our uh, system, then it, it, there's a risk is there, even though we are minimizing it. And uh, Canada, uh, the real estate is a essential services by appointment only, according to the guideline from the government lockdown protocol, real estate council has given guidelines, our RICO, uh, sorry, the Oriya, Korea, our board have given guidelines to realtors and we are very responsible professional, but important thing is to avoid the spread. And also you want to continue to have a growth in your business. So this business of real estate is not going to slow you down. Our success is we are able to put a family into a, a sweet home, sweet home. Financially, it's a sound decision because it's the biggest decision they're going to be making. You get their proper financing done, get them the inspection if necessary done, and make sure you're dealing with a lawyer who is also fa fast enough to accommodate in case there is any disability involved with the, our clientele. Right now, everybody has adopted to virtual doing business. And bank and lender also have agreed and accepting the digital transformation that is happening in all industries and is all virtual. So how aggressive we are. As a real estate professional, can you create your own flyer or do you depend on someone? Can you create a small video for yourself and promote yourself and share on, on, on social media? I can teach you that, how to do it. And this is why it's very important that you, you can also go and learn digital transformation. Mr. Real Estate Board has a training program where you can sign up for this uh, training and adopt the new technology and reach out. Because this is very, very important for us. Because we need to reach out to the people and have and we have and people who are going ahead of people. They are tr transforming, adapting new technology will be way ahead. They may be slow in starting it, but as you know, digital tr transformation is the way to go moving forward. So you have 
multiple areas you have to invest in your hardware, your software, your licensing for various virtual program and reach out and, 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 and conduct YouTube or, or Facebook or LinkedIn. Learn new skills because you need to promote yourself who you are. You, you are branding yourself and when you come to social media, you're telling everyone what needs to be done. It's very important. Now, the more you are exposed, the more you are aware of, people will do business with you. This is why it's very, very important for you to adopt a new technology, new system. So you have to create a lead. You have to convert the lead into a business, a transaction, buying or selling. You know the protocol, listing agreement, and the process you go through and selling the property or the buyer who has... BRA sign and they go out and show the property. Try it. Then try to show and demonstrate a house that you can show through virtual technology and put the condition. When your offer is accepted, then you take your buyer with a home inspector and go do the inspection and you keep the social distance. This is very, very important because we are still in lockdown, even though we are essential, we have to wear masks. And use the gloves if you are allergic to sanitizer. Use the glove. It is very important. I have a glove. I have also. When you're doing the open, you know, going to the house, opening up the lock, put on the gloves. And use that glove and finish the tour. And then you lock up, close it, and then you throw that glove in, in a small bag. And at the end, you can dispose it out. It's very, very important. So... I am doing global network. I am doing Canada-wide network. I'm doing network through Ontario, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram. And the biggest tool that you also have is Realtor.ca. That means if you have a listing, you want to put appropriate and accurate information, get the best pictures of your uh, if you're a listing, sometimes people need a measurement of the rooms. Very important to calculate those and hire someone who can do the digital uh, measurement because people want to buy the furniture. They want to make sure it fits in the, in, the, in the house, in the master bedroom, living, dining, and family rooms. So it's very, very important to digitize. This is the way to go for. It's not going back. Even though it is possible that we will be adopting a new system, we used to get everything in filing. Now everything is digital. All agreements, authentic sign, we set out or DACU sign we use for signature. Once you do it, you do a Zoom call. You talk to your buyer and seller online through Zoom. You you connect to your uh, uh, you know system and show them the properties as available for them, and you can also send them all the paperwork that you can assign them to, so you have. Also, don't forget to download the certificate the buyer or seller has signed that with you. It's very, very critical. This is why this transformation is taking place. You have to adopt, you have to invest in the money. This is why it's very important. It's a very, very fast there's a variety of options available for you. And, th and there is a speed that really you, you go. it's instant and you are able to achieve success so much. So there are risks involved. You have to talk, make sure the platform that uh, you want to use is protected, is a cloud base. And there are so many uh, ways you are really engaging the, the client and customer with you. It's very uh, important. When we're buying and selling real estate, the biggest risk that we have right now is lots of people are buying the property. They are going multiple bid. They are not including conditions. They are giving unconditional offers and they get the property. So two things will happen is that if you are giving an unconditional offer, you have not checked the, done the inspection, of the property, of course, you got a waiver from them and you have a waiver from your client for buying the property. Well, guess what? Something happens and it's discovered. 
you have not done your due diligence, material facts about it, then you have a, uh, you've been a competent professional. Number two, you have a mortgage. What will happen? Don't take a longer closing because you have to sell the house in order to complete this transaction. You're taking a longer closing and hoping to you sell your house at the price you want. And what would happen if there's a correction? We do not expect any government inter interaction in this, in this stage. We do not want them to interfere with us. They did the fair housing plan, remember, when we have a problem with the, the foreign buyers. We, there is a property uh, tax for 15%. No, we don't have that. We still have the 15%. We adopted it. So it's been merged. No people who are still buying the property because our property in Canada is very attractive to foreign investors. I have talked about foreign investment. Buying foreign investment. Are you protected? There is a special show on that. And reason is, if you are a realtor trying to sell a property overseas and you have a Canadian uh, buyer, please make sure you dealing with a, a, a business or a property or a builder that country has a consumer protection laws and make sure that that you're you are doing a due diligence to protect the interest of your client. So this is a potential way of creating uh, a revenue or, or uh, generating more money for you as a referral business. But you have an obligation when you get paid a real referral fee from anyone, you have certain expectation from the consumer that you have done some due diligence before you're recommending it. It's a part of the networking. You have to transform your tech, your digital network so you are able to generate more revenue. If you are not able to find a business, you may be able to get some referral from your network. So how much you have done time creating the network? How often do you meet people through digital transformation? How often do you reach out uh, to people who are doing this and network with them to make sure you get a piece of the pie. It's very important. Do not do everything yourself. If you are doing a waterfront property and you do not have experience going north, why don't you network with someone who has that experience? This is very, very important that we don't and we underutilize resources within our brokerage, within our community of realtors and professionals, and we will not reach out to the one who already have experience. Let's assume it's a, a person calls you looking for a property. Or a person calls you, I want you to list my property in is far away from where you work. Why don't you take the listing and make a referral agreement to another brokerage and sell it? This is why it's important to create network. And also when you are working with network, this is why I created Ontario Real Estate Professional Network on Facebook that anyone who is in that group knows me because I am the founder and, and the host. I'm, I'm also founder of Canadian Real Estate Professional, also North American Real Estate Professional. These are the network and also have a glo global connectivity network for CIPS. The, why? Because these are my areas where I work. I have a special designation. As you know, I'm a FRI, a fellow of Real Estate of Canada, and I, be, I have completed my four-year terms. It will end on April 28th, so I am moving on to new project. So I serve, and we have a tremendous connectivity, leadership in FRI designation program. It's been there for a long time, even almost close to my birthday. And this is so long institution that building leaders in Canada. Same thing as CIPS is a designation of North. And they have chapters all over the place and they also have a representation. There are 4,400 CIPS out of 8 billion in, in the world. So we are all licensed professional and we network. And that's why I've created a global network, uh, connectivity network where I share uh, information with them. They share with me and the project. You will be seeing more and more projects coming to you for 
marketing and uh, investment and other opportunities where I will be sharing your opportunity in foreign countries. I will be your global connection to real estate. So my name is Tahir Ayy Qureshi. I'm a fellow of Real Estate of Canada. I'm a broker of record for City Pro Realty in Brokerage. I'm also principal broker of Canada Express Mortgage. So tonight we are talking about transformation, virtual transformation of real estate business. How your brokerage is dealing with buying and selling real estate, documentation, transaction, we are, how we are managing this is very, very important to create and generate leads. There are companies who are offering digital uh, transformation as well as services uh, to you to help you to get more leads and get more business. You have to incur more costs. You have to create a budget. If you want to update your hardware, software, you have to hire companies who can help you to market or learn the social skills, tools. Where can you go and get those tools? There are, I can create my own flyers. I can create my own videos because I have the tools. I've subscribed to various tools that I need to promote myself and my brand. And this is why it's very important for you to set aside. So you need to generate leads. You need to convert those leads into a transaction, buying and selling. Then you are going to implement and go through the process of completing a transaction. So this is why. And then obviously submit your trade record sheet and then wait for the money to come in. Because with, with this COVID, People are stretched. They are stressed. So I am there to help you. If you have any question regarding how I can help you, call me on my number 416-451-34889. Buyers and sellers, you can visit city pro at my website. And also the builders, renovators, uh, and plumber, electrician, uh, equipment suppliers, appliance suppliers, Real, Awaz Entertainment is the best place to advertise. We are now going on satellite. We, it's available now on cable network around the world. Anyone who wants to watch and, and want to promote their business, they can call uh, 1-888-786-9809 and tell them that you have watched my program on Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment and they will give you a very, very special uh, and discount because I want to encourage you to join. The Awaz Entertainment is a very powerful platform and its, it's reach is way beyond your imagination around the world in Canada, around the world. So please call this number and, and, and you can write to email or you can visit awazent.com. And you can connect with uh, us and you can get a very, very special uh, discount. Especially we have Ramadan now. You can get a, a very special deal. So we're going to take a short break and we'll get back to you after the break. छोटी सी तकरीब में शिरकत भी आपके प्यारों को कोविड-19 की जानलेवा बीमारी का शिकार बना सकती है। जब तक सबको वैक्सीन नहीं लग जाती, अपने घरों में रहें और ज़िंदगियाँ बचाएं। पाकिस्तान का सबसे मशहूर एक्स्ट्रा लॉन्ग ग्रेन मुगल बास मटेराइज अवेलेबल इन बोथ व्हाइट एंड सिला। होम डिलीवर also available at your neighborhood fresh code. Mazid Malumat ke liye, aaj hi contact karay 514-6630-480 par ya order karay humare Facebook se. Banay ye Ramazan aur bhi khas Mughal Basmati ke saath The Premium Choice for Premium Taste. Manjula. Oh, Anushka. Thank God you remembered us after such a long time. Your house is so elegant. You must have gone through a hard time to find this kind of place. This didn't take much effort in finding thanks to Riyaz. Pupudu and I mentioned the things we really wanted and according to that, Riyaz found this house. 
and he also showed us the path to buy a new house while keeping our old house. Oh Manjula, can you give me the number of Riyas so I could contact him today itself? A house sold name, Riyas Ralph, Rushdi Ralph. दो हजार बीस का लाजवाब ऑफर जहां हम जीरो परसेंट फाइनेंसिंग पर आपकी मन पसंद कार दे रहे हैं फ्री विंटर टायर्स और साथ ही हम मुफ्त ऑयल चेंज भी दे रहे हैं वो भी उम्र भर के लिए अभी आए और इस लाजवाब ऑफर का लुत्फ लें जल्दी करें आपका खुशामदी हमारे आउटलेट में जो कि सिक्सटी क्विंट्स प्ले ड्राइव एट इंटरसेक्शन क्लोज टू हाईवे ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड रेजिडेंट अपोजिट टू वुड बैन रेस ट्रैक जल्द से जल्द इस ऑफर का लुत्फ लें आज ही कॉल करें सुनील अग्रवाल को सिक्स फोर सेवन सेवन जीरो थ्री जीरो टू वन एट Good evening and welcome to Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment in Canada around the world. You are watching Realty Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment. My name is Tahir I Qureshi. We are talking about digital transformation of real estate in in the marketplace. You need to develop an enhanced marketing strategy so you are able to continue to to build growth. because the coronavirus this challenge is not going anywhere is going to continue to have these issues and we're going to have to work around it and see best way to transform our technology is how to engage consumers how to create the network to where we are able to create a business opportunity for us because you have to rethink about it the way we used to do business is no longer valid we are adopting new a new technology new system and how do we conduct our business how we are capable of it how much time and effort we are making to make sure we can transform our business to a successful network are we doing it how much effort do we have done now we need to analyze we have to look for historic information the data mls has all the data geo warehouse has the data you have ampac as a data you collect that all the data to analyze your cmas and other potential projection and and forecast you get a uh, uh, market watch from toronto regional real estate board misaga real estate board has its own data so you collect all this data how much effort you are making to make sure that you're collecting this data and you are sharing data with with your potential okay uh, your uh, potential buyer and seller or your client this is very very important for you to understand if you do not correct this data and you don't create a value for this data and you use them how to use this information to your advantage then somebody else is doing it so you are real estate professional you are licensed and you make you are 100% or your full time realtor you have dedicated yourself you're going to put food on the table and for your family put your kids through the highest education you're very successful you believe in yourself so how much prepared you are to use the data you know, and you how in the morning you get up in the morning get yourself prepared get ready and have energy why oh, can it go out because of coronavirus because you can knock on the door so what else you're doing it you still have to spend that time to educate yourself so when your clients are working 9 to 5 and they are now working from their home so you have to connect you have to reach out to them and the best way is is virtual transforming your business in real estate this is why how you going to connect with people and then collaboration is very important people realize don't realize There are approximately ninety thousand realtors in Ontario, and there are three hundred one FRIs like me. I'm a fellow realtor in Canada. Here's my pin on this side, right here. 
So we have, we are leaders in real estate. We are mentor. We have a network. We very frequently attend uh, seminars and other things. They're all digital now, virtual. We are, we used to have a lunch and coffees and dinners. We can't have them anymore. So we are using this digital virtual technology to adopt us. So we are now, I'm talking to you digitally. This is why it's important. It's all has to do with your attitude, your mindset, how much you're willing to put that effort. You used to go out and drive and go meet your client, have a laugh. Unfortunately, we cannot do that anymore, even though we have to wear masks, but it's very difficult. So how are you going to reach out? How they know you, you are the one, the best in the market. Put yourself, adopt new technology, new way of doing business. Let people know about you. If you want to learn, you can talk to me. Call my number, 416-451-3489. I'll help you. Now, important thing is you work within your brokerage if you have multiple realtors and see who has the expertise. Let's say some inquiry comes in and you don't have any experience in that. You're going to say no, no. You talk to the fellow realtors in your team, in your brokerage, who are expert. He said, listen, I want to share with you. Here is my lead. Can we work together and share that? And that's why you will not let that potential business go away. You're cooperating. Now you're doing within the brokerage and sometimes you go out of the brokerage. Some brokerage has the franchises in many cities, but sometimes you have a small brokerage, boutique like City Pro Realty Inc., we always connect and cooperate with each other. You always want to serve your client. And when you are making a referral, make sure that you're referring to someone that you know. You know that the credentials of that person. For example, if there is an FRI in Ottawa, I will refer my client to Ottawa because I can't drive to Ottawa to show a property. And he will give me a piece of pie. Why not? But at least I didn't let that deal go. I made some money. Once the deal completed, he or she will give me some referral fee, whatever you agree with them. That's why collaboration is very important. This all has to do with the mindset and attitude. You set up your mind to do something. You wake up in the morning. You prepare yourself. You do certain things every day, and you transform that. So make sure that you are communicating with people. You're creating a network. You're reaching out to the people and, and putting out yourself. Who you are, the more you speak, the more you expose yourself, you are building a credential. You're creating a brand of yourself and you do more business that way. Now, the important thing is, why not get more talent and, and designation program? Misaga Real Estate Board have various uh, designations that you need them as a seller representative specialist, senior real estate specialist, uh, and, and uh, BRA and other uh, courses, you can join us. Misaga Board Education Program is really good. You can sign up to go to mrep.ca and sign up for this program. A very small amount, you can get to learn about many programs that board is offering. It's very, very important that you need to engage. Connectivity is powerful. The connectivity is powerful. You connect with the customer, you can connect with a, a client, you connect with the realtors, or you connect with the FRI, CIPS, or anyone in the business industry, depending where your focus is. Are you in residential or you're in a commercial? Are you in a condominium? Are you pre-construction as a condominium or a new home construction? There are various ways of doing it. Even though some listing, I tell you right now, every builder who is selling a property is cooperating. Listing agent who are listing the property with, with the builders are also cooperating. I get hundreds of emails every day from people. So I do not promote people's product unless I have a written consent in order to advertise somebody's product. I see many realtors advertise projects that come in the email. You are going to be in trouble if, if somebody complained about you because advertising guidelines, you must have a consent from the, the listing brokerage if you are advertising someone's 
product. If you have dealing directly with the builder, make sure you have a written consent before you advertise it. I see so many people that are advertising without consent. I'm hoping, I'm encouraging to get a written express consent from the builder or the listing agent to make sure when you are marketing their product on your social media, you have the consent. Because I, I have dealt with, with a deal for a client. He listed property on MLS. We bought it. And then builder told, told the, the realtor, take the listing down. So that property was sold, firm, but they took it down before during a conditional period because the builder consent may not have been obtained, but the property was sold. We were the buyer agent. So this is why it's very, very important that you watch and you, you, you do this and, 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 uh, and make sure that you are obtaining the consent before you are advertising uh, other business. So now I'm going to make it short, a brief again. You need to connect with customer and client. You need to create leads. And digital lead is the way to go. There are many marketing companies who are providing lead. I don't use them, but you can do that. You can also promote your website. Or you can promote your uh, YouTube account. Or you can uh, promote your Instagram. Or you can website. Or Facebook. If you can afford it, you can pay for it. It can be done or you can do yourself. This is very important to create lead generation and continuity of business. Okay. Once you have lead has come to you, you convert them. Also be aware, there are people who are asking realtors to sign up for lead generation and they charge you money and they give you guaranteed for give back. So make sure there is a very, very important. That if there's a click, 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 they each click, they will charge you money. So be careful when you are entering into any agreement for promoting your website. Make sure you have a fixed amount if per month they charge you. I was talking to a digital performer. He was asking 350 US dollars a month for promoting my website and, and other things. So you have to make sure that you are negotiated that deal with a company who is going to market. Because you are licensed realtor, you are the one who is going to, to be performing the marketing or selling it. They are only sharing your information that you have. They are not directly marketing. It's against the law. They must be licensed to, to market and real estate and promote themselves or contact consumer. Basically, they are digital transformation companies. They just share your website, which has all the requirement, advertising guidelines the Real Estate Council has put out for everyone, which, which that means a real estate agent's name is a designation, the brokerage, name of the firm, and the word brokerage. These are essential four elements you have to have on your advertising. So please make sure when you're advertising, you're creating a lead, you're falling through. Keep the social distance. Follow the Canada Health Lines. Wear masks. Use sanitizer where necessary. Each time, if you're using gloves, don't use a second time. Only use for one time. And also work with your team, the lawyers, all the home inspectors, and all those appraisal vendors, and make sure. I highly recommend to have an early closing, sooner closing, just in case there are some rules or some new policies come into picture. Remember last, what happened in 2019. The government introduced fair housing plan and then prices went down and lots of people ran into trouble because they breached their agreement. They could not arrange a mortgage. The mortgage come down and, and the appraisal only qualify maybe 100, 200,000 less than what they bought. And then you don't have any contingency fund to close that deal, you could get in trouble. So I highly recommend I am a Rosa broker of record for city realty in brokerage. So I have a license to give you this advice. I'm also principal brokerage of Canada Express Mortgage Inc. I have a license. I can give you mortgage advice. So I am advising you to make sure you do the closing sooner than later. Therefore, you don't have to worry about this, but make sure you get your funding 
inside. Make sure you've done your home inspection. I do not recommend to remove condition because these are the things that you have to take the risk. If you have a big pocket, you can take the risk, all good and well. And this is what we are winning right now. So you are watching Realty Coffee Talk on Awards Entertainment. My name is Tahir Ai Qureshi. Again, if you want to advertise on Awards Entertainment because of Realty Coffee Talk, you will get a very special discount. Please call the number and you speak to, to, um, to Awards Entertainment. They give you very special and um, uh, special discount. So on behalf of uh, 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 Awaz Entertainment, really coffee talk, I want to wish everybody a blessed Ramadan. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank our medical staff, nurses, uh, paramedic, doctors, uh, police officers, armed forces, security, who are putting their life to protect our fellow Canadians. May God bless you all. May God bless Canada. Thank you very much. We'll see you next Thursday at 6 p.m. Bye for now.